Hello, I'm Kyle. I'm the technical content developer at Maple Systems. Welcome to the Maple Systems video training series. In this video, I'm going to walk you through on how to import Modbus tags using a CSV file from your PLC project into your HMI project with Maple Logic and Easy Builder Pro. First in the HMI project, go to the project tab and then go over to address. And here is where you will end up importing the Modbus tags from the PLC project. So you would click import and then either click remove old tags or replace the existing tags with the new ones. So you would click browse and then select that Maple Logic CSV file and then click open and then you would click import. But before I dive into this, I want to show you how to export the Modbus tags from the PLC project. So here in MapleLogic in the PLC project, I want to show you how to export tags. So you go to view and then over to variable editor and then click more. And then under print slash CSV export import, select export. And here's the bit column and the word column. Now, in this case, I have X, Y, and M for bits. So I'm going to deselect these here. And in the word column, I'm going to select just the D register. So the ones I have selected are the registers I have in my PLC project. And an important thing to know is that Easy Builder Pro will only recognize Modbus addresses like 0x, 1x, 3x, or 4x. And a really great thing to know is that Maple Logic automatically maps x and y to 0x and 1x Modbus addresses, and m and d to 3x and 4x registers. So that is why you will always deselect l, k, t, c, and s registers in Maple Logic. So once you select the registers in the bit column and select the registers in the word column, you'll select export. And here I have already exported a CSV file. So in this case, you would just name the file you're exporting and then save the file. So here on the left side is the exported CSV file from MapleLogic. As you can see, the columns are formatted as number, device, description, variable, type, and then Modbus address here. You'll notice that description is blank. That's because when I export the CSV file from Maple Logic in the variable editor, I had the description blank here. And over on the right side is a picture of the format you will need to change the CSV file into in order to import into Easy Builder Pro. Now, there are a lot of columns here, but you will only need to have A, B, C, D, and F for your CSV file. This is the correct format that will be importing into Easy Builder Pro. So, all I did was I took that variable column here and I put it in column A, which is the tag name, which is what we want there. Column B, device name. So I took the device here and I changed it to Modbus TCP IP master because that is the device that is added into our Easy Builder Pro project. So column C is going to be address. It looks different here for our actual type and address. And you can notice that for example, pressure reading is 400002 when it's exported from Maple Logic. We will need to change it to 4x2 when importing into EB Pro. This is how EB Pro reads that address. So instead of having the zeros, it's going to be X and then two. So you'll have the 4x in the address column, and then you'll have two in the type column. That's the same for all the addresses here. And then we'll leave column E blank for a conversion because you don't have that. And then for column F, the data format, we'll have it as undesignated instead because Easy Builder Pro will automatically detect what type of data format those tags are. Let's go into Easy Builder Pro, go to the project tab, go over to address, go to import CSV, check off remove old tags, browse. Select that CSV file that was exported from Maple Logic, and we change the format. So we'll hit open, import, and you can see that Easy Builder Pro gives us a message that says four records were imported and then zero were ignored. So we know that the format is correct and they were able to be imported into our project. Click OK. 
And now you can see the device here, the Modbus TCP IP master, and you hit the drop down here and you can see those tags. So we can exit out of this. We have our local registers assigned to the objects in our project right now. So what I want to do is assign the Modbus addresses that we just imported to each of these objects. So first I'll take this enable button here and I'll double click on the object and I'll go to Modbus TCP IP master and then I'm going to click the settings button here and check off user defined tag. That's the enable tag that we imported. So we want that one. Click OK. Apply. OK. And I'm going to do that for all the objects in this project. So let's do that real quick. So there it is, I've assigned all the Modbus addresses to the objects in my Easy Builder Pro project. And that will wrap up this demo on importing Modbus tags into Easy Builder Pro. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.